Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can upload your DXJS project to the PostingGuard Expander. So first of all you need to log into your PostingGuard and then you need to go down and here you can see I have two domain over here. So I am going to use this domain. So I am going to click over here manage. Then I am going to go down and here you can see manage your website, manage site. So we need to click here. And it will take us to another page. Here you can see file manager and it also mentioned over here the domain name. So we need to click on file manager and it will open in different tab. There you can see. So this will take a few seconds and it will take you over here. So we need to go inside public underscore HTML folder. And here we need to upload our React.js project. And this is our React.js project that we want to upload over here to the posting app. So first of all, we need to go to the project source code. So I'm just going to close this and here you can see a folder over here called e-commerce site master. If we go inside, here you can see we have the React.js project structure. So before we upload this React.js project to the posting app, we need to write a command in the project directory. So I'm just going to click here, then write over here cmd, press enter. And we need to say here npm run build. So we are preparing our website to post on cPanel or Postinger. So we need to write this npm run build and it will take some time. So right now I will just fast forward the video and it is done. So I can now just close this. And after that, what we need to do is that we need to go back. And we need to zip this folder. So I'm going to right click here. Then click on some more option. And click on send to compressed zip folder. So there you can see it is creating a zip file over here. So this will take some time depending on your project size. Right now I just fast forward the video. And there you go it is done. So we need to upload this zip file to the posting there. So let's go to our browser. And here we need to go inside the public underscore HTML and you will see this upload icon. So we need to click here, then click on file. Then we need to select a zip file, click on open and there you can see it is uploading. And you will also see a progress bar over here. So again, this will take different time depending on different project size. Right now I will just fast forward the video. And here you can see our upload is complete. So right now we need to extract this zip file. So I'm going to right click here. Then click on extract. And here we need to give a slash. Because we want to upload it directly to the public underscore HTML. Then click on extract. So this will take a few seconds. And it is done. So now we can just delete the zip file from here. After that, we are going to go inside this folder and we need to select all the files from here. So I'm going to select all the files and folder one by one. Then we need to click over here this move icon. So click here, then click on this double dot folder. This is the public underscore HTML folder. Then click on move. And all of those folder and file is now directly inside the public underscore HTML. And if we now go inside the e-commerce site master, our folder, project folder, okay, there is one more file. So let's just move it as well. Select this, click on move and it is done. So this folder is empty. So we can just delete this folder because it is no longer necessary. So our upload is successful. So right now we'll go inside this build folder and I'm going to select all of those files and folder from here. And let me just copy this and I'll just select this public underscore h folder, then click on copy. And it is done. So you need to make sure that your index.html is directly inside the public public underscore html. Okay. After that. We can just go to our domain and there you can see it is showing our React.js project online. So this is how you can upload your React.js project 
On posting that, I hope this tutorial is useful. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.